How's it going everyone? This is my blank. Welcome back to my channel where a few days ago I got sidetracked from what I was working on. And this happened when I saw Jim's work over at Adored TV regarding potential Nvidia driver problems in DirectX 12 when running on Ryzen CPUs. I found that rather interesting so I thought I'd do some testing of my own. If you're not familiar with his findings then I'd recommend you watch his video first before proceeding with mine. It's linked in the description down below. The problem I'm facing is that I don't own a Fury X at least, or a second RX 480. Not even the RX 470 that I've used in my why you'd crossfire an RX 480 with an RX 470 video. But I do still have my reference RX 480 to which I slapped this 240mm AIO and it still does 1500MHz on the core clock stable as well as 8500MHz effective VRAM clock. And it also happens that I have the perfect card to match it up against, the GTX 1060 that when clocked to 2100 MHz core clock and 9400 MHz VRAM is almost identical in performance to the previous overclocked RX 480 in GPU bound cases. With fingers crossed that these cards alongside medium settings and 6 DX12 enabled games will be enough to reproduce what he has discovered, I went on a more than 20 man hours of work spree, single man hours that is, performing no less than, and I counted them, 96 individual tests including rechecks to be fair. And so the cards went on my Ryzen 1700X clocked at 3.97GHz and paired with 3600MHz CL16 RAM. And then on my i7-7700K clocked at 5GHz and again paired with 3600MHz CL16 RAM. I'd like to point out that the game selection was not random. 5 of these games have both DX11 and 12 support and 4 of them excluding Battlefield 1 and now Ashes with patch 2.20 have shown definite worse performance on Ryzen CPUs than on Intel equivalents. So with that out of the way, let's see what we've got. I'm starting like always with Battlefield 1. I know this looks complex, I'm not rushing you, there's no need to pause. If this looks hard to follow, imagine how my testing was. So what you should be looking out for is the GTX 1060's behavior relative to the RX 480 when running DX12 on the Ryzen 1700X and then on the 7700K. If Nvidia has a problem with DX12 and its drivers when running on Ryzen, then DX12 scaling should be much better on the i7 than on the Ryzen. Also, the RX X480 should be performing generally better on Ryzen and DX12 when compared to the 1060 in the same DX12. When I tested BF1 on the 1060 and Ryzen and saw negative scaling in DX12, I first thought that it's for sure a first sign of the problem. However, the 7700K, which serves like more of a checkup platform and all of this, also shows negative DX12 scaling, which makes it apparent that it's not something CPU related, but simply the fact that Nvidia, and in this case the 1060, performs worse in DX12 and Battlefield 1. So we'll move on to Rise of the Tomb Raider, the actual culprit and all of this. Testing in 1080p didn't really show much, matter of fact quite the opposite. Normal DX12 behavior with slight gains for each card. It was at this point that it was clear to me that I am still very much GPU bound even at medium with highly overclocked cards. So I did the only thing I could do considering my limited hardware. I dropped to 720p. Now this is okay in this case since we're not benchmarking CPUs or GPUs, we're merely trying to isolate a potential problem. And sure enough, there it is. The RX 480 is clearly faster on Ryzen than the 1016 DX12. But switch over to the 7700K and we can see that the 1060 is now slightly ahead of the 480. The difference might not be huge as it was in his much powerful RX 480 crossfire, but it's there. But it's only 10% I thought, this should have been larger at this low res. The RX 480 and 1060 completely destroy 720p. I racked my brains for a few hours and then it dawned on me what I was missing. He was running his RAM at 2666 MHz and I'm running 3600 MHz. Clearly this must alleviate the issue somewhat. So I switched to 2666 MHz on both platforms and the delta grew, from around 10% or 10 FPS to 14% or almost 14 FPS. This is the only test I've done here with 2666 MHz. Adding another variable to this would turn me into benchmark man for the next few days, so please understand this. But let's move on to Tomb Raider's brother, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I say that because they're running the same engine. This is slightly better optimized though and is more GPU bound. 
Testing at 1080p again showed nothing. I'm too GPU bound most of the time to isolate the problem on this hardware. But 720p did show the same behavior. Matter of fact, the 1060 is exhibiting negative scaling on Ryzen when switching to DX12 while the RX480 is clearly not. Also clear is the fact that on the 7700K the 1060 is showing positive scaling as it should. I'm thinking this effect is greatly amplified with a crossfire setup or probably a powerful card like Vega. We'll just have to wait to see that one but I'm very curious indeed. Ok, so Hitman was shown to perform kinda poorly on Ryzen. Clearly my 3600MHz RAM is alleviating this somewhat, but in this case I did not see the issue repeat. Obviously I thought it's the 1080p resolution again, so I dropped it down to 720p on the same medium settings. But it's actually kind of performing as one should expect with the X12 performance uplift across the board. The RX480 with the 7700K is taking this no doubt. Hitman could very well enjoy the high core clocks and not be caring much about multiple threads. Or this might be a case where a future patch will see the Ryzen yet much closer to the 5GHz 7700K, who knows. Next is Ashes of the Singularity Escalation running patch 2.20 which brings Ryzen performance improvements. I ran this at 1080p only and on the GPU bound preset. This is still very CPU bound so didn't feel the need to drop down to 720p. So here we are actually seeing negative DX12 scaling but on the 7700K and I triple checked this so it's not an outlier. This is strange considering that the RX480 is always seeing better DX12 performance when compared to DX11 and even the 1060 is seeing the same in most cases. On a side note the 1700X is now really close to the 7700K on the 2.20 patch. And just when you thought that things were mellowing out I kept this for last and it's a very interesting case. Gears of War 4 was again shown to perform much better on the i7s. My 1080p medium settings showed the CPUs around the same performance and were not fully GPU bound according to the inbuilt benchmark. Nothing special here so far, just the 1060 being a few percent higher than the RX 480. But what happens when we make things extremely CPU bound with a stupid resolution of 960 by 720 Again, don't mind the res, we're not testing CPUs per se, but trying to isolate a problem. Well, now the 480 is ahead of the 1060. The problem is back again and you can see it's clearly not the 1060 as it pulls 194 FPS on the 7700K. So it went from being in the lead to being led on a lower resolution. What's even more interesting is the fact that it's being led even on the 7700K, so this driver issue might be present on Intel as well, but due to higher clock speeds, it only becomes apparent in certain extreme cases. This also explains why I had to go down so much in resolution on my Ryzen and 3600MHz RAM to make this thing appear. Well, I want to wrap this up by saying that I will revisit this once Vega is out. I'm thinking two things. This problem is probably amplified when you have lots of GPU horsepower, like a 1080, 1080 Ti or Crossfire 480s. My single card can only do so much even at a lower resolution. Just imagine that a 1080 Ti or a fast Vega can make 1080p behave like 720p. There's simply loads of power on such cards. Well, speculation as of now for Vega. And the second thing I'm thinking is that my 3600 MHz RAM is alleviating this effect somewhat. Clearly faster RAM helps Ryzen sometimes a whole lot, and this should not be an exception. Well, that was another 20 plus hours of work well spent, so don't forget to leave your comments, questions and suggestions down below, and thank you for supporting this channel by subscribing, see you next time everybody, bye bye.